Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about the setup of the brand new RT-AX92U. This is the Acer Store Wi-Fi 6 mesh router system. Now I say it's new, it has been around for a little while but given that there's hardly any Wi-Fi enabled I'm sorry, Wi-Fi 6 enabled mesh routers out there right now at the end of 2019 and early 2020. It is rather slim pickings. And even though it is rather slim pickings for you guys out there that are looking for a mesh Wi-Fi 6 system, that's 802.118x, it should be said that this device is pretty fully featured both in terms of hardware and software. So I do recommend you check out my hardware review and software overview of this device, the latter of which should be coming soon. But I've reset this device in order to show you guys how to set it up for the first time. Now, when setting this device up, it's worth highlighting that it is recommended by Asus to do this via a LAN connection. That is to say that you connect via RJ45 LAN between the device you're going to use to set up, in, the, in this case a laptop, and the router itself. But today I'm going to be doing it over Wi-Fi, just in case you guys don't know um, where the setup's going to be, or if it's in an awkward location, and really you're in a typical wireless-only environment. So if we do come across any shortcomings, I will show you throughout the video how to get around them. But let's check out this device. Now the first thing you need to do is make sure you connect to the device. Once it's set up, you leave it booting for about a minute and a half, maybe two, and all of the LEDs will be white on the device. Then a wireless access point will appear. Connect to it, you won't need any security credentials. You can just connect to it and you'll automatically connect, but there won't be any internet. Then open up your web browser and head to this URL, namely router.asus.com. You can add http um, dot, dot slash slash if you want, but it doesn't make a vast amount of difference if you're using a more modern browser such as Chrome. It's also worth mentioning that I am using screen recording software and a backup sound recorder here in the background. So hopefully the video recorder won't affect output during the course of this video, but just in case, do bear that in mind, there might be ever so slight frame rate drops. Once you've entered this URL, click enter, and this will take you through to the user interface of this device. Here we can see the RTAX92U, and it's also worth mentioning you can set this up with a mobile app. Now, you can create a more advanced setting if you want, where this is where you can create a much more bespoke environment if you wish. But for now, let's go for a quick, easy setup to show you guys how to get on board. Create a new network, and from here, name the connection. For the sake of future videos, I'm going to call this Asus Wi-Fi 6. And the security password, I'm just going to use the word password, which is incredibly dull. Then you can have separate networks if you so choose, and if you want to have separate wireless networks for all the connected devices, you can name those accordingly. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to disable that and have all the networks as the same um, SSID uh, identifier. And once again, we'll add that there. So again, it's nice to know that you can add those two different options. This will have a complete access over all of the different Wi-Fi connections, but if you do have different devices, some older, some new, some supporting Wi-Fi 6 and some not, you can create wireless networks using a different antenna of this device. It will invite us to say, do we want to use a better password, but I'm still gonna continue with that password. Next, this is for the administration back end. This is where you have to set a security protocol into this device to get into the back of it. Now, go for, you should go for something more comprehensive, but for me, just for the sake of this video and making it easier in the follow-up software overview and comparison, I'm just gonna go with admin password. Once again, it will say you absolutely certain you want to use such a ridiculously low security password, to which I'll say yes. Moving forward, we're now applying the security credentials we've created so far. Now it's gonna ask us to summarize over what we've done. And there we go, the connectivity has completed. So now we can log into this device. Now we've set up our new connection, we can go straight into it here. We found the Wi-Fi network, we've entered our super secret password, and if we re-enter router.asus.com, we can now see the full connections available open to us. Now, I'm gonna go into a lot more detail here when I do the full software overview of this device, 
but there's a whole host of stuff here for us to play with and the software overview is going to be very very deep and go through as many of these settings as we possibly can as well as of course us utilizing uh, the wi-fi 6 connection with a wi-fi 6 supported device i believe an android galaxy s10 the new generation and uh, that samsung galaxy phone we're going to do uh, performance testing of this device both utilizing ac um, wireless connectivity and ax but the setup of this device is fairly straightforward it is quite straightforward and easy for a number of you out there and you can configure this network very very easy indeed thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed this device do stay tuned for the software overview coming very very soon indeed and otherwise thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time